What's up, everybody? My name is Lehua, and welcome to the Superfina channel. I am a Hawaii variety content creator, host of podcasts across worlds, and I stream on twitch.tv slash Lehua Superfina. Today, we are reviewing a game, and if you like game reviews, don't forget to subscribe and get notified on the next game review. The game we are going to talk about is Immortal Phoenix Rising published and developed by Ubisoft for the PS5. Thanks to Ubisoft, I was able to review this game and do an early access stream. So shout out to Ubisoft for providing me with a code for Immortals Phoenix Rising. Immortal Phoenix Rising is an open world RPG Ubisoft created, inspired by the research they accumulated for Assassin's Creed Odyssey. The story goes from Greek mythology. Typhon, the deadliest titan, is free from imprisonment, out for revenge, and succeeding. He has already made the gods powerless by reducing their forms and severing their godly essence. All the heroes are corrupted, and most of humanity was turned to stone. Then we have Phoenix, a human who hasn't turned to stone set out to turn everyone back to normal. And in order to do that, Phoenix needs to restore the gods and their essence and together defeat Typhon. The characters we see are as follows. Zeus, king of the gods, visits Prometheus to call on his help to defeat Typhon. Prometheus, a titan chained atop a mountain, who strikes up a deal with Zeus. He predicts a mortal will defeat Typhon, and if the mortal does not, he will help Zeus. But if the mortal does, then Zeus sets Prometheus free. Both Zeus and Prometheus are the narrators of this game. Next, Phoenix. A young storyteller and shield bearer washed up on the shore of the Golden Isle. Hermes, the messenger god, helps Phoenix because he thinks Phoenix is the prophesied hero of Olympus who can defeat Typhon and save the world. Then we have the gods that need to be saved. Aphrodite, Ares, Athena, and Hephaestus. For the gameplay, everything in this game is inspired from the legends of Greek mythology. Players can customize their character's appearance. As players find treasure chests, they can acquire a variety of gear inspired by Greek mythology and eventually collect different color variations of the gear. Phoenix would be able to change appearance anytime on Aphrodite's beauty chair in the Hall of the Gods. Phoenix will travel by foot, mount, glide, climb, swim, or fast travel. Explore seven unique regions, each inspired by the gods. Discover fast travel points all over the Golden Isle and take advantage of high point locations like the statues of the gods to use Farsight. Reveal locations of resources, chests, vaults of Tartarus, and more. You can do quests from the gods, vaults of Tartarus, solve mysterious puzzles, and battle monsters unleashed by Typhon. The gods of Olympus bless Phoenix with gifts. The wings of Daedalus, the sword of Achilles, the bow of Odysseus, and the axe of Atalanta, along with legendary powers. Use them to fight mythical monsters, solve ancient puzzles, and explore the vast open world. There will be challenging myth puzzles. These are located throughout the Golden Isle. Use your wit and special abilities to solve challenging puzzles in mind-bending vaults, or partake in high-strategy boss battles to increase your power and upgrade your skills. 
As I said before, Phoenix is blessed with wings, sword, bow, axe, and godly powers. Phoenix gathers resources across the world to craft potions and upgrade gear at the Hall of the Gods. Shards to upgrade gear. Ambrosia to upgrade health. Zeus's lightning to upgrade stamina. And coins of Charon to upgrade skills and godly powers. Ambrosia can be collected throughout the world. Lightning bolts are collected from the vaults of Tartarus. Coins of Charon collected from puzzles called myth challenges. Shards, the metals of the underworld, collected through defeating enemies and opening chests. Phoenix crafts potions from ingredients found throughout the Golden Isle. These potions are for health, stamina, attack, and defense. Resources can also be acquired by daily or weekly quests issued by Hermes. Wings of Daedalus is not upgraded, but modified by collecting skins with specific perks on them. Variety of equipment with unique characteristics and stats can be collected throughout the world. Vaults of Tartarus will also have chests containing a piece of gear and is sealed away behind a puzzle. From a high point using Farsight, Phoenix can reveal the locations of chests containing equipment. There are puzzles everywhere requiring Phoenix to use wit, skills, godly powers, and manipulate the environment. Combat R1 for light attacks with a sword R2 heavy attacks with an axe R1 plus R2 parry square for dodge X for jump or double jump circle glide triangle stealth attack L2 to aim a bow plus R2 to shoot the arrow L1 to use godly powers L2 plus R1 to use Apollo's arrow This controls the direction of the arrow which is helpful for puzzles and making headshots at enemies Phoenix fights with R1 and R2 combos and can mix it up with dodge and parry. It is ideal to stun enemies to maximize attack power. There are a variety of enemies requiring different fighting strategies. For example, some enemies will have a shield and Phoenix needs to use the axe to cause some damage and stun the enemy to drop the shield. Later, Phoenix will need to be more creative by adding godly powers into the combat. Like throwing heavy objects to cause a lot of damage, Apollo's arrow to make a headshot, and more. There are times attacks are not causing enough damage, and it is like throwing pebbles at the enemies. This is where Phoenix will need to upgrade equipment, skills, or godly powers. And this is possible by using the resources found throughout the game. Graphics Graphics meets the expectations of a PS5 game. Motion effects are smooth. You can see the motion of the hair and grass. Contrast and brightness has a fabulous balance. Like no image is missing. The special effects are gorgeous and eye-catching. The art style for Immortal Phoenix Rising is called Painter Art Style, which has not been seen before. I think this matches the theme of the game because images portraying Greek mythology, like murals, are like paintings. So the Painter Art Style works. Tips. These are advice that I will give to players for when they play Immortal Phoenix Rising. 1. Upgrade skills and fight moves as much as possible. To do that, Phoenix will need to do as many puzzles as possible to collect coins of Charon. 
Two, look for chests with gear. Three, find as much ambrosia to upgrade health. Four, do as many bolts of tartars as possible to collect lightning bolts to upgrade stamina because godly powers require stamina. Five, travel to high points and use farsight, which is R3. To reveal locations of ambrosia, chests, vaults of Tartarus, myth challenges, puzzles, and more. Hope these tips help you guys. If you have more questions, let me know in the comments below. Side note, there is an in-game store. All content will be cosmetic and have no impact on gameplay. Players will be able to acquire this content for free by completing special in-game quests. And conclusion! Immortal Phoenix Rising is fun because there are a lot of things to do. Explore Golden Isle and look for fast travel locations so Phoenix can discover chests or puzzles. Solve puzzles requiring Phoenix to use wit, skills, godly powers, or manipulate the environment. And collect equipment or resources to upgrade skills and stats. Save cursed gods and take on their quests, which usually has a puzzle for Phoenix to solve and then fight a challenging enemy. People may compare this game to Breath of the Wild because of the gliding and the puzzles and that's fine because Breath of the Wild is an awesome game and players can have something like that on the PS5 while Breath of the Wild is only available on the Nintendo Switch. You can't play Breath of the Wild on the PlayStation. I'm just saying. And that was my review for Immortal Phoenix Rising on the PS5. Hope you guys liked this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a like. And if you have any questions, opinions and such, leave them in the comments below. I also have a Discord. I'll leave a link in the description so you can hop up in and talk about the game. And I also stream on twitch.tv slash Superfina. You can stop by there and talk about the game. Sometimes I do stream Immortal Phoenix Rising because, as I said before, it's a fun game. Outside of that stuff, I host podcasts across worlds where we talk about anime, manga, and other things we're interested in. If you like that kind of stuff, I have a link to the podcast in the description. You can check it out. And if you're thinking about getting the game, I will have an Amazon affiliate link in the description below. It helps the channel, so if you want to get the game, click on the link. Other than that, my name is Lehua, and this was my Super Fina review of Immortal Phoenix Rising on the PS5. Hope you guys liked this video, and I will see you on the next one. Laters! Huge thanks to my Patreons and channel members for making this video possible. If you also want to be part of the Super Fina party, you can click over here or become a channel member. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next video. And I do stream live on Twitch every Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Hope to see you guys there and I will see you on the next video. This bump.